on the next problem, we've got the weight of three peaches and one banana is 540. So I think we can write an equation based on that. So we're going to say, I'll use P for peaches. So three peaches plus one banana equals 540. And in the first question, it's a true or false one. Notice what happens. That is, we have double the number of peaches, double the number of bananas. Is that is 540 doubled? Is that 1,000? No, that one's wrong. So that's false. Uh, and the next one, let's take a look. I can't get five peaches and four bananas from the first equation. Let's write the second equation. So my second equation is going to be two peaches and three bananas is 780. So I'll say two peaches plus three bananas, that will be 780. And notice I don't get, I can't get five out of two unless I multiply by decimal. I don't want to do that. But notice if I add these two equations up, I'll get five peaches plus four bananas. Oh, look at that. That equals zero. 2, 12, 7 plus 6 is 13. Oh, so my second, or problem number 4, that's going to be true. How about 9 peaches and 3 bananas? <coughs> oh, that would be my top equation times 3, wouldn't it? <coughs> so I could say... Uh, 9 peaches, whoops, peaches, plus 3 bananas, take 540 times 3, and I get 0, 4 times 3 is 12, carry the 1, I get 16. Oh, that one's true, isn't it? Also, so I'm going to say true. Now, what am I going to do to do this by elimination? Let's go back and I'm going to copy down my first system. Three peaches plus one banana equals 540. And I go two peaches plus three bananas is 780. Well, notice on this problem... 3 is a multiple of 1, but I want it to be opposite. So what I'm going to do is I want to multiply the top equation by negative 3. And so if I top, multiply the top equation by negative 3, my new system will be negative 9p minus 3b equals negative 1320. My second equation, 2p plus 3b equals 780. Now I notice I copied 1320 down incorrectly. I forgot my 2 there. So I'm going to go back and put my 2 in there. Now if I add them up, I'll get negative 9 plus 2 is negative 7p. Notice my b's cancel off. That's what I want to do. That's what we call elimination. And the negative 1320 uh, plus 780... The negative is bigger, so my answer is negative. I'm just going to subtract. 0 minus 0 is 0. 12 minus 8 is 4. 
and 12 minus 7 is 5. So I'll divide both sides by negative 7. So I'm going to take negative 540 divided by negative 7. I think I'll use my calculator for that. So I'll just type in 540 divided by 7 because I know my answer is going to be positive. And I get about 77.1. I want to make sure I did that subtraction right before I make another video. So negative 1320 plus 780 is negative 540. What did I do wrong? Negative 9 plus 2. Oh, negative 9 plus 2. Yeah, that's negative 7. That's right. I'm not getting the correct answer here. Um, dang it. Negative 3 times 540. Well, I did that right. Oh, negative 1620. There we go. Copy down the wrong line. So you get negative 1620. Well, let's try that again. So now... 0 minus 0, 0. 12 minus 8 is 4. And 15 minus 7 is 8. Now if we take 840 divided by negative 7. 840 divided by 7 will give me 120. There we go. So now we've got the weight of a peach is 120 grams. So I know P is 120. Then I think I'll use um, my first equation. So I'll go 3 times P, which is 120, plus B equals 540. Well, 3 times 120 is 360 plus B equals 540. Well then let's subtract 360 from both sides. So the weight of a banana fourteen minus six is eight. 4 minus 3 is 1. So a banana is 120. And since it's an application problem, we're going to write in a complete sentence. So the weight of a banana is 180 grams. And a peach is 120 grams. And there we have it. And I think I left a lot, a lot of room for work on that one, so that's always.